What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact, and tonight I just got this email from Top Shots, and you know, I just had to make this video. This is a very impromptu video, and I'm, where do I even start with this? So, first off, the, the title of this video is Top Shots Has Lost Their Mind. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is about to be a pretty spicy video, so if you are a fan of the Top Shots platform and all of that kind of stuff, you know, uh, my goal is not to offend or anything like that, but who knows? I mean, this is going to be a spicy take, but definitely keep an open mind and listen to what I have to say about this, because this email has got me pretty pretty uh, hot and bothered in a bad way. So, <laughs> I mean, let me break this down for you guys. Um, well, first off, for anyone who may not know, the Top Shots thing is like a brand new thing that the NBA is trying with these um, preliminary, not preliminary, these proprietary um, collectibles, in quotes, of these digital cards, moments. They're, they're basically little video clips that have a serialized um, issuance sequence or whatever, so there's a limited amount of them in existence, and they're using blockchain technology and blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming you probably know the majority of it, but in a nutshell, that's what it is. It's a collectible digital asset item, an NFT, a non-fungible token. Is that what it, I think that's what it stands for. And <laughs> anyway, so yeah, enough of that. Let me, let me go ahead and dig into this email and tell you what the heck this is and why they have lost their mind. So, okay. Hot, uh, or hollow icon, legendary pack drop on Monday. So I'm filming this Sunday night, April the 11th, and I'm going to go ahead and post it live as soon as I'm done, pretty much. So, yeah, this is happening tomorrow, you know, April the 12th. So, in a nutshell, they are releasing a pack that is supposed to be this extremely limited pack for collectors, which I have no problem with that, okay? But here's the, the thing. It costs a thousand dollars, so that's number one. But you know what? Some people have deep pockets. A thousand bucks, not a problem. That's cool. But okay, you get ten moments in the pack, and it's going to drop at one p.m. Uh, Pacific Daily Time, and that's going to be Monday, uh, April the twelfth. So okay, fine. And you get all these little the chance to get these one guaranteed hollow icon moment each number to 99 guaranteed three metallic gold le moments each number to 499 yeah you know the gist but that's not what i'm upset about so <laughs> let's let, let's let's get into this so what i am I'm really finding the hard words to say okay <sighs> hollow icon drop one inspired a wave of updates to the NBA Top Shot drop process, and we will be introducing additional measures, additional measures for drop two as well, in order to ensure that these coveted packs end up in the hands of dedicated collectors. This drop will only be available to select accounts that meet specific require specific requirements, as of Sunday, April the 11th, at 3 p.m. Read the terms of these requirements in full on the blog. Okay, so you can, you know, I was like, okay, well, what are these requirements? So, let's get into this. Okay, the return of the Hollow Icon Legendary Pack. So, the requirements. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, qualifying collectors must have met at least one of the following criteria. You have to have held at least 15 moments at the time of the snapshot, or held at least two rare moments at the time of the snapshot, or held at least one legendary moment at the time of the snapshot. Qualifying collectors must maintain their eligibility through the drop itself. Now, okay, you know, overall that's not too bad, though it's super shady in terms of, of, of this notion, because basically what it does is it forces people to go into their little proprietary marketplace that there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through in order to even participate in the marketplace, and especially to take any money out of it, okay? So there's a lot of problems that already exist with this platform that I haven't particularly covered on this channel. Other people have. I've been following this kind of thing, but this is just really... They're taking it to the extreme with each one of these drops. It used to be like three moments to buy a pack, and now it's 15. 
So you got to have 15 or super rare ones or legendary rare ones. And just for reference, obviously this pack costs $1,000. Those moments are very expensive and they add up quick. So you not only have to spend the $1,000 that it takes to purchase this pack, you know, to have the privilege to give them $1,000 that you've earned, you have to go into their little proprietary marketplace and buy from other people, theoretically, these moments. But also, other people want to keep those moments in their collection to meet the requirements to buy this pack if they're big um, spenders in this platform. So therefore, it creates false scarcity um, and or, it, you know, it makes it to where the people who have the item keep it and the people who want the item are going to have to pay more in the open marketplace. It's manipulation of the marketplace and the items in order to meet an arbitrary requirement to give them a thousand dollars so that you can then gamble on this digital non-fungible token asset so that you can then basically have the ability to potentially trade it on the open market that they've created to get some money for profit it's a giant ponzi scheme you guys that's that's really what this is so <laughs> it's a very let, let's just keep going because i have some more things to say here so it says eligible collectors must continue to meet the criteria through their purchasing of the pack okay cool now here you go in our continued efforts to reward collectors, we will continue to take snapshots of collectors' accounts periodically throughout the NBA calendar. <laughs> Holding a dynamic collection in perpetuity will continue to be a reliable way to gain access to coveted drops. So in other words, if you whale and hold, you will be you can have the potential to become an even bigger whale and have bigger valuable assets in your collection but only if you are a loyal whale to this scam platform outright anyway. So, yeah, they're basically, they're going to, I would sum it up this way, you guys. This is not a collectible. I am a huge fan of collectibles. I have collected collectibles and cards my entire life. And if this doesn't anger you, you really should ask yourself some questions about well first off are you buying it as a collectible and if you're not then okay that makes sense as to why it wouldn't anger you because you understand what it is and you know what's going on here um, and you know that it's a, a system that that's being essentially manipulated for financial gain for certain individuals at the expense of others so as long as you're aware of that and okay with it, then okay, cool, yeah, whatever. But what I'm trying to convey here is that they are marketing this product as some sort of collectible item, and it's not. Imagine if Wizards of the Coast or Nintendo or Panini, since this is sports, just imagine that Panini, the company that produces the majority of sports cards, especially basketball, they, they have, you know, okay, Panini Prism, a huge, hot, major selling item for basketball. Imagine if Panini said, <laughs> okay, in order to buy a box of Prism, you have to show your papers, please, and show us that you have bought, you know, X number of boxes in the past, and you still hold three sealed boxes now in your closet and if you have that then you have the privilege to give us a thousand dollars and buy a box of panini i just don't I, you know <laughs> who would do that no reasonable collectibles company has a requirement like that or if wizards of the coast is like yeah you can only buy this collector box if you have three dual lands and a mox sapphire that is your entry ticket to be able to buy this collector box product. And, and those products cost a lot of money. That's hundreds, if not thousands, of course, in the case of a Mox. That's a lot of money. It's a weird barrier to entry. It's a weird way to do business. And never in my life have I seen a true collectibles company or a collectible product have such a bizarre requirement. This is much more akin to, say, a creditor. Like if you go to buy a car, right? and you don't have the cash money because you're not a super rich person, you go to buy a vehicle or a house or a large purchase, they ask you, the creditors ask you, you need to show proof of employment, you need to show these past payment, you know, pay statements, you need to show these documentations and papers, please, to get the line of credit to purchase the item. That's essentially what this is in a nutshell. This is not a collectible, this is something quite different. So to treat it as a collectible is where my problem comes in. 
So just to be super clear about that, if you're not treating it as a collectible, you're treating it as a financial asset and as a, a debt-based financial asset at that <laughs> with creditors to, to top shot and or, you know, however you want to put this, some sort of cryptocurrency style thing with weird loopholes and, and requirements for you to play in the game. Um, okay, whatever. At least you know what it is. But this is not a collectible. They need to stop advertising it as a collectible. And I personally, I, I, I don't, I don't really like this at all. The, the, the top shot thing does not make me feel comfortable. <laughs> I don't like it at all anymore. I was willing to, to try some of the packs and, and to try playing in this game a little bit, but I don't like it. It, it feels wrong. It feels dirty. And, um, you know, feel free to disagree with me. Feel free to agree with me. Feel free to share your, your comments and thoughts on this because, this is definitely the spiciest video that I've ever made. I'm sure that it, it's going to upset people and or maybe hopefully it'll it'll get more people like, yeah, OK, I thought that was weird, too. I'm not the only one because this is just bizarre. You guys, it's not natural. It's not normal. It's not a collectible. Oh, and I forgot to mention one of the craziest parts of this is that this is just the requirement to have the chance to get in the queue to buy the pack. You're not actually guaranteed to get the pack. So if you go through all the trouble to use the marketplace to buy the cards, buy the the NFTs, whatever they are, buy the moments, um, and have them in your account, sitting there in your account, you spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to get them, that just gives you a spot in line. So yeah, that's already happened to me before when you had to have three in your account in order to have a spot in the line to buy the $200 pack. I, I went through and jumped the hoops and got the three that I needed so that I could be in the line. And it was a horrible experience. I didn't get the pack. So I spent a bunch of money getting those moments. Didn't even get a chance to buy the pack. I mean, it was terrible. And this would be like that times five, literally. I mean, it, it would be, it's just, it, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I've ranted long enough about this. Let me know what you think about it. And if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It, it would be greatly appreciated. And um, subscribe to the channel for more random updates like this. Who knows? When I find news like this and it, and it gets me going, I might post some videos like this again. Who knows? But, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. For anyone who is a fan of the Top Shot um, you know, product that they're trying, it's, it's pretty much in beta form right now still. So... If you are in this market or you were thinking about potentially getting into this market, just know what you're getting into and know that they have these weird loopholes and stipulations and it's not a traditional collectible in the least. It's something entirely different that they're trying to create. And if they do it successfully, okay, cool, you know, whatever. This is just my personal opinion of what it is and um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.